All right, so I'm recording. You're set free. So opening my box, opening video for uh, Canarium Eve. Canarium Dolls Eve. It's a half-scale doll. It has some kind of nice message here. I don't know what it means. I'm assuming it's nice. I actually can't read Chinese. It could be insulting for all I know. Helping me are my lovely husband. Hello. Seth. And Shelby the Pug. Here, Shelby. Blueberry the Pit Bull. And Moose the Boston. All of which are hoping there's something they can eat inside this gigantic box. So I'm going to hand this over to Seth. All right. And... Handing. All right, it's recording. There we go. Thank you, Seth. Mm -hmm. All right. Shall we get out of the doll box? No, no doll box. Go on. They're like, can we eat it? Is this good? I don't know. Look at this thing's huge. All right. Wow. So. No, yeah, it's tough. Right. I'm nervous I'm going to cut the paste underneath it. Yeah. Go on, boo. Go on. Shoot. You guys are on the foot. smell the resin like through the box. Wow. Look at that. It's got like a screen print, a custom screen printed logo on it. Ah! Oops, hey, sorry. get out of there, doggos. Canarium. Come on, doggies. They're getting antsy. I should have put them out. Dogs, scram. Scram. Go on. Uh-uh. Moose. Here, you can put the dogs out, Seth. <laughs> All right. Kind of caught in my game. All right, yeah. Excuse me. Okay, so this is the bottom, the hinges. Hi, Shelby. No, no. And here is the top side. So I'll just cut each side because this is really big and heavy. All right. Side one. She doesn't sell many of these. <laughs> or maybe it's just dust from the packaging. Actually, it's not fair. Let's see. Okay. And then this one. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Wow. <laughs> All right. So silver. Shelby. Okay, so these are the regular hands. Oh, it has that probably very toxic new resin smell. So these are, I think this is like a wrist joint. Oh, it's one hand. That's kind of weird. Huh. I don't know why it's just one hand though. I ordered the jointed hands, so 
And I asked that they be put on the doll, so maybe this is just like a backup or... Right, that's kind of weird. It only comes with one hand. Are there any other hands along the side, maybe? It's like the size of a person. So I think she only came with like one hand. Uh-oh, I'll have to contact the artist and see what is up with that. Wow, this is like a people blanket. Like this isn't just, <laughs> oh, sorry. The cardboard's kind of underfoot. Let me tuck this under. Wow. I'm wondering if the hand, another hand has gotten anywhere under or I don't see it. Uh, there's this COA canarium. COA, yes. Oh, wow. Pretty. She's huge. And she has, how cool. Oh, wow. So she's got joint, I, I did extra. Okay, so she's got like a little clear resin kind of peg here on the side of her hand and really good mobility. How cool. So you can really, you, thumbs up. You, you, little hand. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh. <laughs> All right, and oh, her face is very pretty. And let's see, she also has her hands are the jointed ones. <clears throat> yep. Yep. So also jointed. Oh man, she is heavy. Oh, she's got some packing nails. I keep just looking. It's a pretty silver. And the container. So she had the thing has some loops on. Oh, I guess this is to secure and like tapered, or not tapered, velcro her down so she doesn't fall or anything like that. So. What a pretty figure. I love her sculpted collarbone. She has really pretty collarbones. Very well fitting. She has a little bit of sea mines, but nothing that I can feel with my hands though. Maybe it's just a difference in the resin color. How pretty. And then regular feet, but very detailed though. So, how great. I guess the only, and it's padded too. I guess the only downside is that she only came with one, because I thought that she would come with both her hands. since I ordered the full doll plus jointed hands, but so far she only has one extra hand. So I'll message them. So this is what the extra hand, you can see like her little lines on her palm and kind of the detail here. A serious sculpted in hook, a little bit of flashing around it, but that's fine. And the ball joint for 
There we go. Fits really well. Oh, okay. Wow, that's like really perfectly snug. So has some packing foam little bubbles from the foam. Let's see. Let's look at her head. Look at her head. So this head is on here really Really well, I can't tell. It is really on there, though. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, it is seriously magnetic. Like, that is a seriously big magnet right there. Um, wow. And she's got just kind of a rounded neck joint with, like, a resin, oop, sorry, resin peg holding it in and, like, a ton of, yeah, I bet it's hell stirring her. And I can't tell what eye size she would want, like 28 millimeter maybe. Oh. This is her face. Pretty. I'm gonna put her cap back on. Oh. <laughs> that is a serious magnet. That head cap is going nowhere. Hey Shelby. I stand for uh everywhere now. Yeah. Oh. Yikes. oh wow. She has pretty feet. Very delicate. And I like her ankle joints. So if I were to lift her up. This is like the, the weight of a real child. <laughs> she is super, super heavy. Oh my gosh. Seth, this is like a child like fighting back and pronging your legs. <laughs> she is heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. So this is her backside here and her joints. I wonder if she'll stand even. Let's see. I don't know. She is heavy. Maybe she needs shoes. Yeah, she does need shoes, doesn't she? Did one of her legs get rotated? Oh my goodness. Heaviest doll <laughs> ever. Trying to find a good angle. Yeah. Okay, I've got her feet under her now. So, let me see. I don't think she can see it on her phone. Wait, wait. Whoa! Shelby, don't knock her over, pugger. Look at that, she can stand on her own. How cool! Look, she can stand on her own. Look at that posability. Let me turn her towards the light, Seth, so you can get a better view. Okay. That's amazing. Wow, she stands really well. How cool! And she comes up to like over my waist. are a little floppy, but they're well designed to like stay where they're. There's the mobility on her arm joints. Her arm 
arms are not as mobile, maybe. Either that or uh, she doesn't have a lot of mobility in her arms. Oh wait, you have to. Okay. Oh, she has like a nub to keep her arms up. Okay. So there's like a little resin nub right here that helps keep her arm. So if you put it out, see, it can go. So that's what it is. Okay. So then if you want her to have her arms out, and this is a little bit more precarious balance. Widen your feet. Ta-da! So then she can... Hi. Oop! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have to brace it up a little bit. And now she's a little bit heavy towards it. But still, like, really good balancing, though. How cool! I love her figure. She's got like some clear mold parting lines here. It's like the resin color itself. You know, this is smooth to the touch, like completely smooth, but it's like clear. So they use it, I think they use like clear re resin to seam the pieces of the doll together because it's such a large sculpt. So they have like a little kind of pe square piece here to brace her arm. Maybe that's where they put the mechanism for that uh, nub to kind of go into. But then she's glued together with clear resin. She has a little bit of a natural mark there from the resin. Um, but it looks like they glued her together with clean, clear resin and then uh, finished sanding her that way. So on her neck and on her sides this way, you can see kind of a, a line of transparent. Smooth to the touch, but a line of transparent resin here where she's been finished, but it's not too big a deal for me. She's going to be wearing clothes. Okay, and then it just pops right back down again, so. How cool. There must be like, okay, something with that little square how to build it. Tempted to make her stand on one leg, but then I'm afraid that she'll like topple over. She's on one foot more than the other. If I brace your feet apart, okay. How cool. How pretty. She's so big. She was super big. How cool. And you can see like the ribs, you can see her hip bone detailing, her collarbone. It's like a very realistic. I'm afraid I'm gonna knock her over. But yeah, you can see like the clear peg hole here. So I guess she's just, she's held together by clear resin in certain points. He's like, she's not petting me. <laughs> How cool. Look up. About as high as she can look up, really. It tends to pop back down again, so. About the size of a very, very lean six-year-old child. How pretty. Anything else? Um, let me see if there's anything left. I don't want to break the seal on the COA because it's got like the bark the barcode sticker here sealing it. Um, I'll contact the manufacturer about this. Let me see if there's anything left. Like Shelby, get out of there. Get out of there. She's blind, so this is something new in her environment that she can't see. <laughs> He's bonking into you. Yes, Shelby, we love you. We love you. Okay, so it just has the straps for holding her down inside the box here. And it's kind of a padded box, so. Ta-da! 
<laughs> so this is Conarium Eve. She's from China. I can't remember what city. Hangzhou? Um, no, I don't think that's right. Uh, what city is she from? I don't know if I have it on the box. Let's see. Yeah. Sorry, Seth. <coughs> Where is she from? Huh. Oh, wait, here we go. Shanghai, the trade co. Okay, so I guess Shanghai, but I think the artist is based out of somewhere else. Uh, she is heavy. She is 24 kilos. That is heavy. That's like a real child. <laughs> and she's 120 centimeters tall. Excuse me, sir. So, yay! Yay! Oh, cool! All right. Very pretty. <coughs> Bless you. All right, I think that's it. Thank you. Bye.